Mold. Seagull. Go for Mold. Personally, I think it's paramount that we continue headed north to get this unit tied up. If we could pull any additional resource to watch the house and continue north, I would do it. Good copy. We will pull a resource to watch the house and continue north with ignition. We are stewards. We scale the slopes, tending to oak savannas and remnant prairies, scanning for rogue cedar trees, and taking on the role of the bison and elk that once kept these places free of brush. We light a match to breathe life back into the landscape, releasing nutrients for plants to use, combating invasive species, and creating the perfect seedbed for new growth with increased vigor. Fire is bad to a lot of people because a lot of people have homes inside of areas that naturally, you know, over the course of time have done a lot of burning. Because fire has been happening on the landscape for a long time, the landscape and all of the flora and fauna upon it have evolved with fire. So this isn't something that we do for fun. It's not even something that we do for aesthetic value. This is something that we do to restore natural processes on a given landscape. Stewarding these areas preserves our state's history, protects food and cover for wildlife, safeguards our water quality, and ensures future generations can also benefit from and enjoy Iowa's natural wonders. You know, conservation is not something where you're gonna get rich. You do it because you care for the land. You're willing to go that extra mile because it's the right thing to do. So just a few numbers for today, we had 27 firefighters that used three engines and seven UTVs. And if you don't think Iowa can have a complex burn unit, we had two operational divisions, seven squads running at the same time using four communication channels. Conservation professionals protect, manage, and care for some of these amazing lands. They use teamwork, cooperation, and partnerships to better preserve these gems. The Luss Hills Cooperative Burn Week has been the pinnacle event to bring them together from across the region since 2016. When people come to this event, the main thing that I see is egos are all dropped. It's all about the training. It's about bringing our young people up, raising the bar for everybody, and then just having a good time. Gave us a couple good points about what to think about before we, we go into cutting it and seeing if it, if it really is worth the risk of cutting it or if it's probably safe to leave and could be great habitat. One of the magical things about Co-op Burn Week is that it's not training out of a book. It's not training from an internet video. It's person to person. The training and the opportunity to burn in different fuels and with people who have been burning much longer than our organization has, has really helped my entire team to get better. Don't take it lightly that you're burning in places that aren't your home. You know, that's a big challenge. A lot of firefighters struggle with that. How's the line looking back there? If you're too comfortable, you're not doing enough. <laughs> this event examines the tools in our conservation toolbox, explores best practices, dispels myths and increases competency and confidence. Organizations of various type and size come together with private landowners and volunteers, strengthening partnerships and building communication and leadership skills. It's definitely different. It's nothing I've ever experienced before, especially the maintenance of all these parks. You know, who's gonna go out and do it? It's, it's us, it's these people. In a place like Wabonzi State Park, where we're a small but determined staff, I cannot stress enough how much gratitude we have for all of the people who participate in events like this to help us out. And I can't express how much I am eager to go back out, and my staff are eager to go back out and help out when it's somebody else's turn. When we work together, Personnel, equipment, and other resources can flow across property boundaries with the interest of what's best for the land at heart. Together, the natural areas reap the benefits, and we owe it to the land to be the best stewards we can be. To me, conservation is important just for the future generations coming after us. I want my kids and my grandkids to be able to see 
some of the great places that I've been to, and hopefully they're as healthy or healthier than when I saw them the first time. Whether we are harvesting prairie seed for a new reconstruction, restoring the land by removing invasive species, or establishing cover crops to promote soil health, we love the land we care for. We love being Iowans, and we know we can have a bigger impact with a common vision to collaboratively work toward. Iowa Stewardship. Today. Tomorrow. Forever.